the outside gate, Greg Blair is well away. Jason Garrity trying to see what he can do, but Blair has held on well and leads from Johnson. So it's Blair from Johnson, third place at the moment for Garrity. But Garrity looking for that outside line to try and see if he can overhaul Johnson. Now cuts back to the inside at the end of the opening lap. So the lead is still with Greg Blair. Garrity trying everything he can to find a way past Johnson. Johnson though still just about holding second. Now Garrity trying to move through. Greg Blair still with a cosy advantage at the end of lap two. So Blair in front. Garrity now clear second. He's got the better of Brendan Johnson. Has he got enough speed to catch Blair? He's got about a lap and a half in which to do it. And Greg Blair still with the advantage. Into the last lap we go. Garrity exploring every line he possibly can. Still Blair with the advantage, they're leaving Johnson behind, last couple of corners here, and Jason Garrity, oh my goodness me, Jason Garrity has ploughed into the back wheel of Greg Blair, another sickening crash. And we really are going to have time problems now for this meeting, if we've got another lengthy delay sorting these two out, because unfortunately, both Jason Garrity and Greg Blair are on the deck, and they've stayed down. Garrity here just gets too much drive there and clatters into Blair's back wheel. Poor Greg, no chance whatsoever. And he's an absolute passenger the rest of the way. And I just hope he hasn't landed too, uh, uh, too awkwardly on either collarbone or shoulder. He's back on his feet, albeit somewhat shakily. I'm not surprised. Garrity will have to be the one disqualified. Heat 11 is awarded. Greg Blair gets the win. Brendan Johnson promoted to second as the only finishers. Garrity disqualified. Sergeant didn't even start after his earlier wounds. So that's your verdict on Heat 11.